is defined as this formula. In fact, its not ratio with, with, with respect to the negative distribution is fitted by the Simoy function. And this is the result, regression result from Simoy function. We can see that it is good, they are all good, because their large errors only happen in repositions with very few samples. We saw some detection results. We have tested it in nearly 30 videos, and we can achieve very good results with very low false alarms and nearly no missing detection. The fourth part uh, interactive camera calibration. It aims to build a calibration and surface annotation tool for surveillance. This system allows users to use a pedestrian as a calibration pose and allow them to refine it by adjusting the parallel lines, vertical lines, and principal point. Then we can achieve the camera parameters. With the camera parameters, we can reconstruct the major surface, including the ground and the walls. And we can render them in three dimensions. The fifth part is the hyperspectral data process. First, I per process hyperspectral curve layer on the ground including some pre-processing and feature extraction. For example, we can extract some uh, uh, social feature after the continual removal. Second, I analyze hyperspectral images, including classification, recognition, and mystical decomposition. For example, recognize the parent percent in Hyperion and classify the vegetation by their red edge features. The state part is a heavy metal content immersion based on hyperspectral data. It aims to immerse the heavy metal content from hyperspectral curve mirror on the ground. It usually use single variable regression and multi variable regressions. In multi variable regressions, the most popular method is partial mean square. square. Mm. But the coefficient from the partial least square is not stable. So I filter in the Gabor filter and achieve more stable, achieve stable real and more robust coefficient results. Regress based on Miskaussian. Uh, it is well known that the classical linear regression is based on the assumption of a Gaussian error. But in fact, when noises are large, the Gaussian error doesn't hold. So I fit the actual error distribution with mixture of Gaussian distributions and constrain the mixture Gaussian distri distributions with same mean values. Then I find the regression parameter with maximum likelihood estimation and CM algorithm. Here is a result of the regression. We can see that the mixed Gaussian can fit the error result very well. Now comes the final part. It's about my interests. My interests include the most sensitive image process, object detection, classification, and spatial statistics. And I believe that my strong background in pattern recognition will help me achieve success in remote sensing. Thank you for your attention.